Hey everybody, good morning. <clears throat> this is Lisa Scott, the online womenpreneur's guide to gaining clarity in life and in business. Had to block my face just a little bit. bit. Hi, Hawa! Thank you for joining. Look, my face is a little shiny, so I had to do this. Wait a minute, I gotta do it right here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I just want to stop by and talk about uh, why or the number one reason why we should be repurposing our content uh, online. I am on the repurpose your content in 2016 bandwagon uh, because I have been online since 2011. And what I realize uh, at being a coach uh, especially if you are online on a cons consistent basis, on a consistent basis daily, you're providing content, you may believe that you have to constantly be creating something new, and that is not the case. And um, you know how Facebook uh, shares a memory from years ago? I had a mem memory shared on Facebook from years ago, and I read... Uh, I read the article that I'd written from years ago and I realized something that I've already realized about myself. Hey, good morning. Um, that as a coach, my message is the same in 2015 going into 2016 as it has been since the creation of my business in 2011. And that is that we have the ability to change a thought we have the ability to go inside of our minds, to zoom in on a thought that may not be serving us, and we can change that thought in order to serve us and assist us in moving forward in our lives and our businesses. This has been my message consistently since 2011. Now, I may deliver it in create different and creative ways. I may... Um, get more information on certain aspects of, you know, science of the mind and the brain and thought and feeling and all of that and how to uh, deliver that message to you guys. But my message remains the same. And the number one reason why we need to repurpose our content in 2016 is because people hear what they are prepared to hear. So you could have delivered a message, you could have done a blog post, you could have done a Facebook post, a Twitter uh, tweet, I don't care what it is, and you thought that message was the most important thing in the world, and it was, if it's your business, it absolutely is the most uh, important message in the world, but I think that we all know, and somebody can tell me exactly what the statistic is on how many times it takes for a person to actually hear what it is that you are saying. <laughs> so I, I don't care if it's a family member, uh, a friend, it, it's the same in business. I think it takes on average, people don't hear what you're saying until about the seventh time that you say it. Even in my marriage, I could have said something to my husband and just knew I got my point across. And then I'll say it again later on down the line because he'll bring a topic up or something like that. Up oh, 11, 11 positive contacts I've read. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so there we go. There's another statistic on how long it takes or how many times it takes uh, for somebody to actually hear what it is you're saying. So back to my husband. I'll, I'll bring him into this conversation. I could have said something to him and just knew I, I, I got my point across. Then he'll bring up, you know, a topic or something. And I'll say, babe, I, I already said that to you. And he'll say, oh, I didn't I didn't hear that. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I just knew you heard what I was saying. <laughs> so it happened in relationships it happens in our family and it happens in business and let me just give you one example I had done a SoundCloud SoundCloud is a, a uh, broadcasting platform where you can go on there and record messages and you can share the information about a year or so ago I did a Q&A session for uh, brand new coaches, coaches, uh, whether they were new or established, and I recorded a webinar and uploaded it to SoundCloud because I repurpose. I repurpose all the time. It's just that my focus is going to be even more so in 2016. 
So I uh, put this uh, information on SoundCloud over a year ago and uploaded Q&A session for, uh, for coaches. And um, I decided to create a Coaching for Coaches membership program. And before uh, or during that whole um, introduction of that Coaching for Coaches membership program, I put out this Q&A session so people could know what types of information that I have already put out. And I had a young lady join my Coaching for Coaches program by virtue of hearing the webinar that I created over a year ago. Uh, so once I delivered this information one time and I recorded it, the only thing I need to do is continue to share that information. That's something we don't tend to do is we think that once we create something and we put it out one time and we're all excited to get it out there to people, that that's all we have to do. And that is not the case. You must reshare, repurpose your information in 2016. And if you are not already a part of my email list, I will be sharing uh, during some of my emails uh, how I repurpose my information. So please make sure to visit me on Facebook. Uh, um, I have an email application there on my Facebook page at Lisa Scott Coaching and Mentoring where you can sign up for my email list so you can understand some of how I repurpose information. As a matter of fact, this uh, podcast or this uh, Periscope, I am going to repurpose this Periscope by uploading it to YouTube. So if you didn't know that you can do that with your Periscopes, you absolutely can. So that even if people didn't show up to this particular Periscope, um, they I can create or upload this to YouTube and then share it all over Facebook. And guess where else I share it? On my email list. So repurpose, repurpose, repurpose in 2016. It'll save you a lot of time and take the weight off of your shoulders of believing that you have to continue to create new content all the time. So this is Lisa Scott. I thank you so much for everybody uh, being here, for spending your time with me. This is Lisa Scott, your online womenpreneur's guide to gaining clarity in life and in business. Visit me at www.lisascott.org. That is my website. And don't forget to sign up to my email list by going to my Facebook business page at Lisa Scott Coaching and Mentoring. And make it an incredible day. Bye-bye.